Shields Force is fast approaching. I've seen the, the pain of the contractions heightened, so I can only imagine how high it's going to go. But I'm, I'm totally prepared for this. I'm totally ready. I just, I'm, I'm anxious because I know it's coming, and um, I just want to see her. I just, I want to hold her in my arms. I should go now while I'm not having Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> The babies head to the hospital. Thomas plans to give birth naturally, but also present will be an agency photographer, a guy who's helping them write a book, our film crew, and a couple of people. Here we go. Okay. Peaceful birthing process. I can't wait. Why did you expect it screaming, huh? Well, everybody. Tell me what to find. As I say, you know, yeah, for sure. Exactly. With the baby's arrival imminent, Thomas and Nancy want some privacy, and the room is cleared of crew. Yeah, thank you. But they allow us to leave one camera recording. We need to have a baby, Thomas. Yeah. After half an hour, excellent, excellent, excellent. The tape runs out. The only camera now recording is Thomas and Nancy's. After several hours in labor, the midwife is concerned the baby is experiencing difficulty. This is 157. Okay, thanks. As extra staff arrive, the hospital insists filming is stopped. Yeah, so I'm going to turn this off, okay? Yeah. Which way? How? Which way? The moment the pregnant man gives birth goes unrecorded. But after 13 hours in hospital, Thomas has given birth to a nine pound, five ounce baby girl. Our crew is let back in. of the pregnant man's baby. and she goes off into another room and, and feeds her. I'm not going to be able to use the excuse of recovering from giving birth, you know, much longer, huh? She's learning, though. He's a good guy. As Thomas and Nancy try to get on with life at home with their new arrival, they are still at the center of a media storm. But now that the pregnant man has given birth, no one seems sure what to call him. However, the Beatties are quite clear about their roles. Thomas is the father, and Nancy is the mother. And she's taking it seriously. It's good girl. Good girl. When Thomas got pregnant, and then we were talking about, oh gosh, well, you know, we want to breastfeed, and he can't. I, I am so lucky to be able to breastfeed her. I mean, on, on, on a scientific level, what, what is the actual process? Because 
didn't mention it to anybody. I said, wow, I didn't know you could do that. They put me on some breath control. And the breath control makes you, you go on it for a while until your breath size doubles. And it makes your body think that you just gave birth. And then it gets prepared in that way. And then um, I just take herbs. And not too many people know that they can do this. People that adopt or um, people maybe in our situation that haven't been there yet, at least they know that you know, the wife can breastfeed the baby that their husband provided for them. <laughs> Although pictures of the pregnant mom's baby are in a national magazine, the Beatties have yet to introduce her to the rest of the family. Nancy's daughters have come to see their new sister. All right, let's go. Let's go and see the baby. Okay. You know, you hear about something that people don't hear about. It's kind of crazy at first, but uh, it's just the beginning of the world being more diverse and more open and people being able to do what they want with their life. <laughs> I think our story really just tests boundaries Go see the baby. and what we consider normal <laughs> and what we think we should be able to do or how the family has to work and uh, this just breaks those borders. She's pretty cute, huh? What do you think? Does Thomas do well? <laughs> <laughs> We're a loving family. They're going to be incredible parents and it shouldn't be something weird. It shouldn't be something that people are upset about when really this baby's going to be raised incredibly well. Hey, Jeffrey Brian Nelson, Bright Tales, and Bushy Island this uh, Saturday morning in Bed.